So I bought this vehicle for a thousand bucks on Facebook Marketplace, just like this. It was daily driven, it smells horrible, and it's got 242,000 miles on it. But I'm gonna deep clean the inside, and at the end of this video, I'm gonna tell you how much money I made just by quick flipping this thing by detailing the inside. So if you are new and you like these sort of videos, hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let's go ahead and get started with tackling one of the nastiest interiors I've ever done. Now when it comes to cleaning up an inside of a vehicle just like this, it's easiest to pull out the seats, pull out the center console, so that way you can make sure you deep clean everything to remove the smell from the inside, especially if you're gonna resell it. Now as a heads up, everybody that's pre-ordered Fox Clean Detailing products, they are in stock. So if you haven't ordered already, use the code in the description box to save 20% off your entire order. We have wheel cleaners, we have leather cleaner and conditioner, all-purpose cleaner, all the brushes you'll need, all the towels you'll need. So make sure you head over there to stock up because spring is on the way, plus I sell out within weeks of getting new inventory, which is now here in stock. So head over to foxclean.com after this video so you can deep clean your car. Now if you didn't know and you're cleaning your shifter inside your garage, the little black tab that I removed from the top left is actually for when you're getting your car towed or if they're transporting it. You can take that little plastic tab out and push down with a screwdriver to move the shifter back and forth without the car on. So it's a safety feature but it's also a unique feature and it makes it easier to clean the entire shifter assembly when you do that.
Now the most important thing for these carpets is to let them soak in this solution I'm spraying on, which is Flex Ice along with OxyClean. That is a big, uh, big difference that you can get from cleaning your carpets is using a little bit of OxyClean. It helps break down and you can see the color change without even me agitating it. The OxyClean does a really good job with breaking up all of that organic stuff and coffee and whatever else we have on the surface, including a lot of grease. Once it's completely drill brushed, I'm just using my extractor to suck up all of that dirty stuff that we've kind of loosened up on the surface before spraying it again and then extracting it again dry and then extracting it with injecting steamy hot water, which helps break down any further um, dirt that's in the fibers to remove it completely. Now when you have a lighter color carpet, you do run the risk of it being stained permanently, which is kind of what we end up with here a little bit, but you'll see how much of a difference it makes at the end of the video when you see the before and afters. It's insane. Now this center console little insert thing here where I'm vacuuming all this crap off of, I don't even know how you get that wet and that moldy in there, um, but this thing was disgusting. So just all purpose cleaner, drill brush, and then a microfiber towel to wipe it clean and it's good as new.
Now the carpets were obviously filthy, but the most surprising part was how much dirt was in these seats. It wasn't completely obvious before we extracted them. Now this driver's side floor was by far the dirtiest section of the carpet and for this one I had to use quite a bit of pre-extraction fluid to soak in there to agitate to get all that dirt loosened up and majority of it was actually oily grease and when you see the extractor pour after it's done you can see the oily bits floating around. I mean this, this was a bad part of the carpet and why I recommend rubber floor mats or floor mats in general because the carpets don't get beat up like this and you don't get holes in the carpet. You let the floor mats kind of be that sacrificial layer that gets destroyed so you can replace those a lot easier and a lot more cheaply um, than the actual carpet. Just keep on fading in all these photos caught in the memories and captured in the highlights just keep on wasting
yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about here. You can see the oily, shiny bits in the corners, and it's, um, yeah, this is, this is like pure motor oil.
All right, so this was a flip video. I paid a thousand bucks for the car in running condition. I put $75 in taxes, $50 in fees, and then $300 into detailing the inside of it for time and materials. Now the outside wasn't done because it was kind of beat up and it wasn't needed. Just by cleaning the inside, I sold it for $2,500, meaning I net $1,075 and that was about five hours of total work just to flip this vehicle. So all being said and done, you can do this too. There's certain limitations in the state that you live in and how many cars you can buy and sell within a course of a year, but for a thousand bucks real quick for five hours of work, it's not too shabby. So if you guys do flips or anything like that, let me know in the comments below. And if you think this vehicle turned out nice, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can watch more videos just like this.